Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a portable case from uh, Axiom. Uh, portable case is a great feature, it's brilliant for your stakeholders, your investigators or your non-technical uh, people and it's just a really good way of letting them review the results that you've got uh, without having to give them like a 700 page PDF file or you know an unmanageable large spreadsheet. Uh, when I used to work in a digital forensic unit, portable cases were brilliant and it, it really let the, uh, the um, officer or the investigator go through the results themselves and, and you know potentially find information that otherwise you're unaware of or you may have missed. So, portable case. If I open up a case and examine, and you can pretty much make a uh, portable case um, out of anything really from what you're filtering so you can apply as many filters as you want and then with the results you've got you can make a portable case in this example uh, I made a confidential tag earlier and, and, but, uh, and tag some items so if I apply the confidential tag and then you can see here that this will just narrow down to these items that I've previously tagged and like I said you, you can uh, apply as many filters as you want to make a portable case. So for this, for this example I, I want to make a portable case out of my confidential items so I apply the relevant tag and then go to file create portable case and then I've got a couple of options here um, where I can either do items in the current view which is what we want because that's our current uh, filter view uh, tagged items or all evidence uh, so if you want to make a portable case out the whole lot you can do but in this example I'm going to uh, just apply it to the items that I've filtered them. I can choose where to export it so I'm just going to go to my desktop and make a folder called portable case when making a portable case you've got to make sure that the folder that you're creating it in doesn't have any other uh, folders in it really. It, it might make it but it'll come up with a message saying that this folder isn't empty. It's just to try and protect you from overwriting uh, other reports or portable cases. So select my case, I'll select my folder and then click create and you'll see a uh, an indicator in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Uh, I'm just going to pause this video so it doesn't get too boring for you watching uh, the indicator bar uh, carry on. So that took about a minute and you can see here that it says export to portable case complete. Um, I'll just show you as well that on my desktop now there's a, uh, a folder called uh, portable case. Let's just have a quick look what's in it. I'll just save that there and then you can either open it from here or just remove the message so I'm just going to remove the message and then close down examine so if I go to the portable case so for example this is something that you would give to a uh, investigator or uh, another examiner or stakeholder uh, and all they would have to do uh, so for example if this was on a uh, a DVD or CD or a memory stick all they would have to do is just double click on the uh, open case.bat file and this basically opens up a uh, like a mini version of Axiom and you know a version of Axiom that doesn't have all the features and everything and just allows them to go through through the results uh, more easily and they don't need a license to run this so they could take this onto another computer uh, that doesn't need an Axiom license uh, and, and run that. So I'll just let that load up and there is our portable case which uh, this is what the user would see. Uh, as you can see they, they haven't got the clutter of all the other information that they didn't want and again the uh, examiner or investigator or whoever can then start applying their own filters within the portable case and then use it to make even more refined results so for example if after reviewing this material they only wanted um, these two spreadsheets they could highlight them 
tag them as evidence. Oh, sorry. Me getting caught up with myself. I select these two, right click, and then add them to the evidence. So here you can see that these are now tagged with two. Uh, they belong to two tags. If I just apply the evidence tag now, you can see that these two are here and then you can then make a further report out of them. So for example, it might be that instead of making a portable case just for two items, you can then make a, either an HTML or a PDF XML uh, of just these two items. So it really does give you uh, a lot more options when it comes to um, um, reports and gives you a bit of flexibility and mobility in terms of getting the material reviewed.